You have no rival. You have no equal. Now and for a. Guys, listen to this. This comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 1. It says, Sing, O childless woman, you who have never given birth, break into loud and joyful song, O Jerusalem, you who have never been in labor. For the desolate woman now has more children than the woman who lives with her husband, says the Lord. This is arguably one of my most favorite verses because I find it so incredibly intriguing. Whenever I read this, I always thought to myself, this is probably the worst advice you could give to a woman who can't have children. And it always takes me back to the story of Samuel. If you know the circumstances of Samuel's birth, then you know how extraordinary they were. The Bible says that her, his mother couldn't have children and it made her very sad. And one day she went to the temple and she was crying out to God and long story short, God answered her prayers. Now, whenever I read this, I often think, why would you sing if things weren't going okay? And do you know what I've realized? Much like with Samuel's mother, I think it's the same with us in this situation. We may be in a barren situation. I actually know a lot of people who are very sad right now. I know a lot of people that are distraught. I have a friend of mine who just lost somebody that they knew and he said something so profound. He said, it's all fun and games until you know somebody who dies from the coronavirus and and i know that a lot of people feel this way i know a lot of people are anxious we're now in lockdown which means some people are quite scared but i want to give this advice straight from the word of god i want to say this sing wherever you are sing rejoice make noise make make uh, sing your praises and, and and sing worship unto the lord because he is faithful not because our situation is great but because God is faithful. He answered in the form of Samuel. He was born in extraordinary circumstances. I want to ask this question. What is God capable of doing in and through our lives in this barren season? As we go and or as we're in shutdown for the next uh, couple of weeks or whatever the case is, what can God do if we posture ourselves with a posture of prayers, praise? So that's what I want to say to you, man, is just sing. Make sure that you are encouraging. Make sure that you do take time to worship. Don't just hang around and and be sad or or, or, or like feed into the uh, frenzy, but take time to worship. Take time to praise with the people that are around you. If you're alone, make so much noise that people think that there's dozens of people in there with you. So the cops even come and try to break in and, and find out who you snuck in. But let's take on that attitude as young people an attitude of praise, an attitude of worship. And I promise you that God will hear us and he will answer us. Um, I hope you guys are blessed. And I, if you have any requests, again, if you have any prayer requests or whatsoever, please get in touch with us because we do want to pray with you. Just because we're in lockdown doesn't mean we can't pray for one another. We can check up on you. We can call you. We can do whatever is necessary to make sure that you're okay. Uh, please be blessed. And have a great time. It's great having you connect with us at Church Alive and we would really like to get your feedback. Like, follow, subscribe and remember to turn your notifications on so that we can keep connected. And we would really like to pray with you. So you can drop us a DM or you can go onto our website and leave your prayer request there. And you can also use the WhatsApp line. Stay connected. Stay connected.